Howdy freeze dryers, it's Brian with Retired at 40. I am over the moon today because I finally get to share the new freeze drying studio and kitchen with you today. And this is gonna be a really great creative space for me. I think it's gonna be able to uh, let me level up my game on YouTube. So today I'm gonna give you a tour of the new kitchen and I'm really excited to show you what's behind these doors. I'm also gonna share some real big news and some, uh, some current events happening with Retired at 40 Live Life Simple. We're gonna do all that coming up. So before I start the tour, I really want to give my gratitude to all these people that have supported me uh, throughout the years. Never in my wildest dreams did I think that we would reach 155,000 subscribers at this point and really even allow me to do a studio like this. And that I've been fortunate enough to turn a hobby into a career, something that I really never planned on doing, uh, something that I never anticipated would, uh, would grow to this level. But again, thank you so much for everyone who has supported the channel. Thank you for everyone's contributions on the Facebook and the MeWe site. Thank you for everyone who has purchased products from our store, freezedryingsupplies.com. And thanks for everyone who has made all of this possible. Now let's get into the tour. So you'll notice it's real echoey in here right now and we're, that's one of the things that I'm gonna work on and that's one thing that the studio is gonna allow me to do is control my sound, control my light. So that's gonna give us better videos. We really wanna put the best freeze drying content out there on YouTube and uh, have the best help, the best tutorials, all of that for freeze drying and food storage. So there's plenty of uh, extra space in here. This used to be a, a catering space and kind of a, an events preparation center so we were able to put our own twist on it but it's a fully functional kitchen it's it has a refrigerator microwave range uh, it has a sink dishwasher all of the stuff that you would normally find in a kitchen one thing that I think is really handy is I put a, a touchless faucet in here because whenever you're prepping food it's just, it just seems like your hands are full of stuff so now you can just touchless and now I have a worthy place to hang my silver play button from YouTube after I passed 100,000 subscribers. Another great thing about this space is it is pretty wide open, so I'm gonna have a lot of extra room to uh, do all kinds of different stuff. I'm gonna try new things uh, with the freeze drying space. We also have epoxy floors, so it makes easy cleanup if you drop something, spill something, whatever. But really, let's face it, if you've seen one kitchen, you've seen them all. What I'm really excited to show you is behind these doors. So let's take a peek. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the new freeze drying room. This is this makes me feel like pretty much the luckiest freeze dryer in the world because I have just about everything that you could possibly want for freeze drying in this room. I have a lot of prep area for packaging, rehydrating, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I have a scale over here so we can uh, so we can measure our grams for rehydration. My Avid Armor, of course, that's my one of my go-to uh, kitchen gadgets that I just I can't live without for freeze drying. I also just purchased the newest Avid Armor, which I'm not sure if you've seen. I'm pretty excited about the Euro line. Uh, it's going to be a lot more comparable to the high-end Backmasters, that type of chamber. I believe it will also do a ball jar. So look for that video coming up. We'll do a review of that um, as soon as I get it here in a few days. So this space actually gives me a good spot to keep everything organized for accessories and uh, just the things that you need to grab off of a shelf. I've never really had that before and I think keeping everything organized in freeze drying is pretty important. This space was also big enough to allow me to get a big upright deep freeze that'll store tons and tons of medium trays. This is a double stack of medium trays and a double stack of large trays. So you could put probably 50 trays in here if you really wanted to. It also gave me a good spot to display my sign that I've been waiting to display for a long time. My brother-in-law gave this to me a long time ago and I never really had a good spot for it, but now it's gonna reside on the deep freeze. So one of the things that I've been waiting to do a really long time is I've, I've been freeze drying for four, over four years now and one of the things that I haven't been able to do is really get my freeze dried food organized. This is a nice big space in here and it should allow me to get a good chunk of my freeze dried food organized. I've just kind of started to unpack right now and just uh, 
sort of basic sorting of how we're gonna do it. Uh, that'll probably be a future video coming up too, just how to organize your freeze-dried food because it starts to stack up very quickly. And one of the things I noticed while I was unpacking all this food from, some of it's from four years ago, is that you can you can definitely tell the difference between uh, pre-Avid Armor and during the time that I've had the Avid Armor. Uh, this stuff right here is all Avid Armor vacuum sealed and you can see that it, it takes up a lot less space because it's thin, it sits flat, it's easy to stack, it's easy to pack in, and to me it's just a, it's an instant indicator whether the food is sealed properly and uh, whether or not it's gonna store properly. Some of this older stuff that's in the big package, this is from 2019, you can see that it's a lot bigger, it's not, it's not vacuum sealed, it's not vacuum packed, so, I think if you've been watching this channel long enough and you're serious about freeze drying, you probably know my view and my, uh, my thoughts on the Avid Armor already, but just another uh, a positive in my book. So future plans for this area, I just got a new grow tent. I know I just did a review video on a different one. I have another one now because I just keep getting bigger and bigger. I just, I just don't feel like I have enough space to do what I wanna do. This wall right here should be an eight by four uh, grow tent, which is gonna be big enough to do a whole bunch of stuff. So we'll do a video on that uh, when the time comes to do a review of this tent. This space also has a commercial sink, like a restaurant style sink. It's gonna be so awesome for cleaning trays, cleaning up after you're done. No one ever likes cleaning up after freeze drying. It's one of the, the crappiest parts about freeze drying, but any little thing I can do to make it that much simpler, I'm on, I'm on board. So that's the new freeze drying space, but you're probably noticing that there's one thing missing and that's a freeze dryer. The one downside about this studio is that I do not have a dedicated 20 amp circuit and you have to have that for a large freeze dryer. I've had a large for a couple years now, I think. Uh, I moved up from a medium originally. So we're gonna fix that problem right now. So today we're at Murdoch's. They had them in stock today, white. All right, well that's better. It's really interesting to me seeing a medium on camera and how compared to the large because the medium feels so much uh, more compact than large does. So I have enjoyed the large size for a couple years now, but if you have a large, you already know this, that your food supply will start to stack up really, really quickly. And I've been freeze drying for so many years now that I really just don't even feel like I need the large anymore. Uh, that might be something that you consider in your in, in your initial purchase, or you could uh, you could always go down to a medium later. Medium is a little bit more efficient; it's quicker times. Uh, it doesn't take up as much space, but it's also not doing as much food. I think the the large does about 1.75 times what the medium does. I'm also happy to have a medium again because I I feel like the majority of freeze dryers probably have the medium. I think a higher percentage of people have the medium, so now I can kind of cater towards uh, towards the medium crowd as well. And you can always adjust recipes from the videos to uh, to suit your needs for a large. I always try and do that for both sizes anyway. And I'm sticking with my Gen 1 Premier Pump. I love this pump. The thing is a tank. It's super quiet. It's so well made. And I'll just give the new Premier Pump to, uh, to the new owner of the large. And I'm not sure who that's going to be at this point. And I think that's it for today, guys. I, again, I just, I really appreciate all of the support over the years uh, that uh, it has allowed me to do this and this is something that I never thought I would ever do in a million years. I really look forward to producing better quality content and just having a better creative space to do it in. And I did tell you that I've got some big news coming up. We have two big things coming up. Uh, we're actually going to be putting out our cookbook very shortly. I don't have an exact date for you, but you can, uh, you can look forward to that in the near future. We're also working on a new product for freezedryingsupplies.com. And I think that uh, this is gonna be another one of those products is just going to be a game changer in streamlining this whole process. So in the meantime, this is Retired at 40. Remember to live life simple. We'll catch you next week.